do you want to fix your handstand line? Well, these are the top three exercises you can do to improve your handstands. The Flexibility Guy, Coach Alia. Hello everyone, I'm uh, the Flexibility Guy, Coach Alia, which today is more like the handstands guy because we'll be talking about handstands and about the top three exercises you should do if you want to improve your handstand line, all right? But uh, before I start, let me remember you that if you want to work on your handstand, if you want to master your freestanding handstand, you should definitely check out my book, Balance Your Handstand, which is the complete playbook to master your perfect freestanding handstand. And you can check it out following the link in the description down below, all right? now. With that said, let's start. All right, guys, so this is the first exercise I do wanna show you to correct your hands to line. You just need a wall and an elastic band. You're going to learn how to move your pelvis correctly, all right? So what you do wanna do is this. As you can see here, I have some yoga blocks on the floor because I do wanna pop my feet slightly away from the wall at first, all right? So feet away from the wall. I touch the wall with my glutes, all right? And then with my shoulders. So I do wanna have my shoulders, my back and my glutes against the wall. As you can see now, I can put a hand under my back, all right, behind my back and I can touch the wall. So there's a space between the wall and the back here at first. Now, forget about the band for a second, all right? Let's do the exercise without the band at first, all right? So what you do wanna do is this. You do wanna keep your arms by your side like this, all right? Keep your shoulders against the wall, keep the hips against the wall, legs straight. From this position here, you do wanna understand how to move your pelvis correctly, which is going from anterior tilt, which is the standard posture you got when you stand up, all right? The basic, like the correct posture when you stand up but when you are in a handstand you do want to flatten your lower back and to do that you do want to move your pelvis into posterior tilt which means that you do want to touch the wall with your lower back all right to do that you you have to roll your pelvis into posterior tilt a position which is called posterior tilt and you can you can feel that you can feel that because as soon as you move the pelvis correctly you're gonna touch the wall with your lower back, all right? So again, you do wanna start here, anterior tilt. You do wanna move the pelvis into posterior tilt. You keep your legs straight. You keep your glutes against the wall. Now you keep your back against the wall as well. Your shoulders against the wall and your arms as well against the wall, all right? That's the first thing you do wanna do. Then we wanna add something, which is the band, which is going to uh, teach you how to correctly move your hips for a handstand position because this is just the basic posture you know you just have to be aware of the difference between an anterior tilt and a posterior tilt against the wall but now let's understand how to apply this concept to a handstand position all right so what you do want to do is to grab the band right over here and you do want to put one thumb on an extremity and the other thumb on the other all right so you do want to grab the band like this and you do want to put the band in front of your hips, all right? Look, right over here. Hands against the wall again. Now, you start from the basic posture, so anterior tilt, the wrong, let's call it wrong posture for the handstand position, all right? Not standing for the handstand position. So now, you go into posterior, so you're gonna flatten your lower back, all right? With the band which is pushing your hips toward the wall, toward the wall, all right? But now, what you do wanna do is this. You do wanna keep that posterior tilt activation and push your hips against the band. Can you see that? Can you see that little difference? So now I am in posterior tilt. Now I go in anterior, sorry. I start in anterior. Then I go into posterior and then I push forward with my hips. Let's do that again. So anterior, posterior, extension. All right, so this is called hip extension. When I push my hips in front of me, I keep that nice posterior tilt. So I'm not gonna change that. I'm just changing the way my hips are activated and they're going into an extension position, all right? So I'm just basically bringing my hips away from the wall, but I do wanna keep that posterior tilt, all right? So my lower back is still flat. All right, my lower back is flat. 
it has to remain flat as I move my hips forward. All right. So again, posterior extension. I come back, posterior extension. All right, that's the concept. You do wanna learn how to do that. And this is going to teach you how to move your pelvis in a handstand. But of course, if you want to understand how to move your pelvis in a handstand, you gotta start from an easier, far easier position. And this one is perfect because you're standing up. It's easy for you to stand up and kind of concentrate, focus your mind on what your pelvis, what your hips are doing, all right? This is the first exercise. Make sure you understand how to move your pelvis correctly and then move on to the second one. All right, now you know how to correctly move your pelvis in order to achieve a better handstand line. Uh, but just moving your pelvis isn't enough if you want to fix a handstand line because it's really different, of course. It's a piece of the puzzle. And now we do wanna add another piece to that puzzle. You just need some yoga blocks and I will, all right? I'm gonna be showing you an exercise which is excellent to understand not only your pelvis rotation, so your correct pelvis activation, but also the correct activation of your rib cage, all right? Which is another super important element of an instant line, all right? So all you have to do here is this. You do wanna have a couple of yoga blocks, one under your chest, one under your knees, all right? So one under the chest, one under the knees. Now, the distance, depends on your body length all right so one under the chest the other one under the knees so i gotta adjust this a little all right just like that and i do want to make sure i got the wall in front of me and i can touch the wall with my hands all right much like that from this position here there are two main things you do want to do the first one is to move your hips correctly and the second one is to move your rib cage correctly so let me show you you want to press against the wall with your shoulders all right so this is going to move your shoulder blades into elevation which is the moment where your shoulders slide towards your ears all right toward your ears so, so you do want to push your shoulders toward your ears second thing you do want to move your hips into the correct position and then pull your chest in you got that yoga block under your chest because of that all right so you do want to pull your chest in all right away from the yoga block but you don't want to really lift your chest away from the yoga block it's just like sucking in but you do want to keep that contact all right so look at that i got my hands against the wall now i push my shoulders against the wall and now i roll my back can you see like i'm sucking my tummy in but i'm also pushing my hips down and i'm sucking my chest in i'm creating a curve on my upper back can you see that like i'm starting here and then as soon as I'm activating correctly, I'm sucking my chest in, I'm inflating my back ribs as much as possible. I'm pulling my abs in, all right? And I'm pushing my glutes down. That's hip extension. So a common mistake people make here is this. They lift the hips up, but they don't push them a little down, all right? So make sure that you're not just crunching your body like this, all right? It's different because you don't wanna do this, you do want to also push the hips a little down while you suck the chest in, all right? So again, I do want to pull the chest in and pull the tummy in and push the hips a little down like this. Can you see like my abs are not touching the floor, but my hips, the front part of my hips is touching the wall, like in the extension, like in the first drill, all right? So chest in again hips down abs in that's the main concept you do want to maintain always remember that during this drill you do want to shrug your shoulders up all right the wall is there because you do want to push with your shoulders push the wall away from you all right using your hands and your shoulders especially so you do want to keep your arms straight you don't want to bend your arms exactly like in a handstand think about a handstand when you do this exercise here try to imagine like if you were doing a handstand but you're much like a handstand all right but you're not exactly vertical you're horizontal which is similar which is similar all right so main focus chest hips secondary focus 
shoulder blades. So shoulder blades, shoulders, arms, all right? Straight arms, shoulder blades elevated. That's how you wanna do it, all right? So this is going to teach you how to move your body correctly in a handstand. And as you can see, there are a lot of things you have to think about. You gotta start from your pelvis, all right? There's the first drill against the wall to do that. Then there's the exact same activation here. Now we've gotta understand how to move the rib cage, all right? So chest in, in flight, kind of the upper back. So you do wanna create a curve on the upper back and push the shoulders against the wall. That's the second thing we are trying to understand here. Now, the third drill, the next one, we're gonna put everything together in a handstand position. All right, guys, so this is the last exercise we do wanna do to master the handstand line. Of course, there are a lot of exercises you can do, but I think this progression here has a lot of sense because you start from the basics, then you try to put the pieces of the puzzle together, and now we're going to do that in a handstand position. You have to do this exercise in a chest of the wall handstand, all right? So you gotta have that position a little comfortable, all right? So you do wanna stay there, comfortable, understand what you're doing, all right? So next thing you do wanna do is this. You do wanna mount into the chest of the wall handstand and you basically want to do the two main things we have seen so far. So you do wanna fix your chest position, you do wanna fix your ribs position, and then you wanna start moving your pelvis in the correct way, all right? So, Make sure here, there are, there's one simple rule. Your chest and your shoulders have to stay fixed and you have to move only your pelvis. Let's see how to do it. So, you wanna start hands down, all right? Feet up, you walk into the handstand position. Stop a little far away from the wall. Now, arms straight, shoulders toward your ears, all right? Now you fix your chest, so you bring your chest in, you pull your chest in, you inflate your upper back as much as possible. Your feet are against the wall. Now from this position here, you move your pelvis into anterior tilt. Can you see that I'm arching my pelvis? I'm not moving my shoulders, I'm not moving my chest, I'm just moving my hips. And then you go into posterior. Can you see like, I'm closing the hips, but I'm also pushing my hips towards the wall. Can you see that? Now, I'm arching my back. Now, watch again. I close and I push the hips toward the wall. I arch the back. I close and I push my hips against the wall. As I push my hips against the wall, I don't move my chest. I don't move my shoulders. I'm really fixed with that position there. So let me repeat again. Anterior tilt, this is wrong. Posterior tilt and push my hips against the wall. Now, you wanna do that for reps. If you can handstand a little, all right, try to hit the position from here. Feel how the position feels. Can you see like I, I, I'm correctly activated with my hips? Because of that, can you see like I'm starting in the wrong position, I'm going into the right position, I'm bringing one leg in balance with the correct position, I'm creating the balance here. All right, that's the main idea you do want to have Oof. during this exercise here, all right? So the main focus must be on your pelvis, but a lot of people just make this mistake here. They start in the handstand position, but as soon as they want to move their pelvis, then their chest and their shoulders start to move. And that's the main mistake you do want to avoid. So make sure as you are in the position, you're moving your pelvis correctly, all right? And you keep your chest and your shoulders well fixed above your hands. You can do this exercise for reps, all right? You always want to go into the correct position, exit into the correct position, exit for a couple of reps, all right? So maybe five to 10 reps, all right? And then if you're able to balance a handstand, you can try balancing that handstand. Otherwise, you just come down Think about what you've done, all right? And go on with your handstand workout.
All right, guys, so these are the top three exercises you should do to fix your handstand line if you want to get better at handstands. But I know that now you may have a lot of questions, a lot of doubts, so, or maybe you give all these exercises a go and you have some something to ask, something to talk about, all right? And if you want to do that, remember you can leave a comment down below and I'll be really happy to have a chat with you and to talk about handstands. Also, if you enjoyed the content, remember to hit the thumb up button and help me grow this YouTube channel. It's free and it's gonna help me a lot you know that and i'm gonna appreciate that as well with that said that's all for this video from the handstand guy today coach alia have a nice handstand and see you in the next video bye